Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Phil Foden FIFA 23 player review team of the week version. I paid 41k for him so that's the price that I'll be reviewing him based off of. He is 5'7 with high high on the work rates, left footed, 4 star skill moves, only 3 star weak foot which is a shame. Would have liked him to get an increase on that but yeah, I guess you can't do anything about it. He's right winger but he can play cam right mid, he can play a lot of places to be honest. Um, English and from Manchester City. So let's get into the in-game stats and then we'll get in some gameplay with him. So, 84 pace, not too bad. Um, we have 88 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 81 shooting's pretty good. Um, that's probably a, an area where I would put a card on him for. Uh, maybe a hunter would work well on this guy, to be honest. 84 passing with 88 short passes, really good. 90 dribbling's fantastic with that good agility and balance there. Um, and then the defending's not too well, I guess actually it is bad, what am I saying? Uh, only 58, but he is a forward player, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then only 50 strength as well is a bit of a shame with 63 physical. Not bad looking card. All right, let's see how we can get on with him here. So let's have a look. Foden there, good pass over to Junior Furpo. Um, and he's on a fantastic little run here. His pace is ridiculous by the looks of things. Uh, can we get it over to Foden? Walcott there and Rashford puts the ball in the back of the net. That's fine by me. Oh no, he put it wide. What is going on? Oh, we've won it back anyway. I've, I don't know what's going There we go. Gets the goal. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what happened there. I thought that the ball went, went in the back of the net from that first shot. He should have scored that. But we get the ball back anyway. Really was made by Junior Furpo there though. The run along the wing um, was excellent and he showed very, very good pace to get the ball over to, uh, to Rashford for his shot, which went to a goal kick and then eventually put the ball in the back of the net. But here is Junior Furpo on the ball again and Foden's making a great run through the middle there. Can we find him? Yeah, we found him in the end. He's on his weak foot there, though. That's a problem. That's what I'm saying about that three-star weak foot. That is a bit of a problem. Walcott's managed to put the ball back up. Here is Foden again, and that is going to be offside, I think. But that's a bit of a problem, that weak foot for Foden. Um, it is a shame. I definitely would like that to be increased to a four-star, but again, there is nothing that can be done about that you can't put a chemistry style i wish there was something where you could increase the weak foot as like a, a bonus uh, chemistry style but i guess everyone would probably use that for their forward players so it would be a little bit unfair and the price of that would probably be ridiculous in the end that's a good tackle there thank goodness and rice well out Let's see if we can get it over to one of our new players here Rice, where's Foden? Here's Foden on the ball. And that's a decent-ish pass. Um, bit difficult, really. I probably shouldn't have made that pass. Um, that's probably on me, to be fair. Um, yeah, the, the guy that he was trying to pass to was completely marked, to be fair. It's a bit, uh, that's got to be offside again. Yeah, there we go. Been a couple of offsides this game. All right, there's Furpo. Let's get it up, see what he can do. He has looked very good in his pace and his runs. And he's going to do another one here. That's a great pass from Fabio Vieira. Oh, he's run beyond the ball. Um, not seen that very often. Oh, unlucky. Just couldn't quite finish that build up there. Rice has won the ball back though. His Foden, mm, not managing to do much there. His strength did let him down. Here he is again though. Through, oh, again, weak foot. It's a shame. His weak foot is a big shame. Um, that three stars is uh, going to, I think, come, come back to haunt me a little bit. He's not played bad, but... Yeah, his weak foot's not been great. Great ball from um, from Furpo there to Kudabale. Rashford, what can we do? There's nothing on at all. And that definitely wasn't the pass, but Kudabale did win the ball back, luckily. And we're through here. Oh, what to say? This guy's goalkeeper is absolutely keeping him alive in this game. He's not really offered anything going forward. Um, not caused any problems. Or well, this could, though. That 99 pace guy. That's good. Feels like I've got away with that one. Not even a yellow. I thought that that might have ended up being a red because that was last man. If I, well, I did miss time the tackle, but if he went past me, he would have been through on goal. But very lucky not to have received any sort of card there. I don't really know how. Just as I was saying, he's not offered anything to, uh, a threat either. There's Junior Furpo though on the ball, and yeah, he's not going to outrun him. He's got the 99 pace, but he has outskilled him. Fantastic dribbling shown, and a great ball from Foden. Plays it to Walcott. Rashford's making a run in the middle. Let's pass it over and blast it in the back of the net. That was made by Furpo and by Wal um, and by Foden. So that is very, very nice. And of course, Walcott in the end as well with the uh, the mega run. And uh, oh, I've given away a foul there. But this is great. This is really good. Junior Furpo is looking like a real monster over there on the left back position. Um, Foden's had a good game as well. Not going to take anything away from him, but he has had a few chances. 
where I do just think that maybe he could have done better with the shots, but the three-star weak foot, as I've said a few times now, let's see what he's got to offer dribbling-wise. That felt a little bit sluggish and slow, to be honest. I don't know what was going on there. I feel like Odegaard would have got through there. Um, it did feel a little bit slow. Um, oof, he's got through here. Rashford, great defensive cover by Akuda Barley. And Foden again on the ball, showing good strength there. Um, and he's made a good run as well. What can we do with that? Oh, not a lot. Getting tackled there. But it's not the end of the world because Kuda Bale, the monster, wins it back on Foden. Oof, that was a, would have been a foul there. Um, he's making a good... Oh, no, just couldn't quite manage to get the ball um, through into the middle section where we could have looked for a goal. That's great defensive cover from Junior Firpo. Really, really good. And he would have won a free kick there. Oh, oh the ball's dropped for Odegaard. And, oof, just wiped him out. That's fair, fair play because he did do the same sort of thing uh, to me earlier. Uh, he's got Baston, and he? Van Baston. Oh, that's a great ball to Rashford. Really have no idea what he was trying to do there, but that was a hell of a header out by Furpo. Really, really solid to clear the ball out there. Here is Foden on the ball. Walcott, can we get it up to him? Always made a fantastic run. That's a great ball as well. Get it onto the left, puts the ball in the back of the net. That's 3 0. He's going to quit. And that is a very good win with Foden and Furpo being really, really quite major parts of that. So let's get back into the in-game stats now and give our overall verdict. All right, so Foden, 41k I paid for him. Let's go for a stat by stat. So 84 pace. I'm actually going to think that his pace was a little bit better than 84. So I'm going to increase that to an 85. Not a big increase at all, but it is an increase nonetheless. He's shooting at 81. Now, he did score that goal for me. He did score a few goals in the games that I played with him. But I think that 81 is probably about right. But that's mainly because of the weak foot, unfortunately. 84 passing as well probably did feel about right. Um, I don't. Maybe you can increase that to an 85, 86. Nothing too major. But yeah, his passing was pretty good. His dribbling, I don't know. 90 just feels a little bit too high for me, unfortunately. I'm going to bring it down to an 88, which, don't get me wrong, is still a fantastic dribbling stat, but... I don't think the 90 can be given for this guy, unfortunately. Then 58 defending, not going to touch that because he is more of a forward player, so we don't really need to worry about defending anyway. And I didn't notice that he did anything good or bad defensively. Physical, I'm going to increase because he did show some good signs of strength. That was one of the pluses, actually. I was very surprised by that. Um, so I'm going to actually bring his physical up to a 76, um, 77, sort of that range. Um, a, a massive increase, still not great, but a massive increase. I think 50 strength is way too harsh for this guy. So do I think that he's worth picking up for 40k? You know what? I actually do think that he is because it was he was fun to play with. I, I don't know. It's difficult because there are definitely players that are better. But for 40k, I think that he's probably a, a player that's about right. Um, so hopefully this video has helped. If it has, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching.